hello community i hope you are doing good in this discussion we will see how to inherit a view using the field tag and in case you missed previous discussion about basic overview of the view inheritance please check link is given in the description and if you want to learn more about odoo you can go to in the playlist in the playlist you can see odoo development if you click here you can see multiple playlists also available for the odoo with different topics and the real task tasks in case you need any help you can just go to about page in about page you can see this email you can send your query to this email address all right and you can also support this channel using two ways buy me coffee paypal and using this join button so let's back to our main topic like how to inherit using the field tag any views right so first thing is let's say i'm in the student profile in the form view here i want to display few fields here like in the form like before the id or let's say the create date or the create uid so for that one like i want to extend the specific form view right so here like let's say custom module and this is this module we already created in our previous session my suggestion is please check that session also so in this in that session we already explained the how the xml schema is working here then after the tags and the positions here right so let me comment this view now here let me extend the form view irui dot view student form view extend name student form view extend model so here the model then we have to provide and it is the school dot model right and arch type is the xml so if you see like uh, if you know like how to create a basic views so this is the basic syntax to create any kind of new view but let's say if you want to inherit the view you have to extend one more field tag and we have to use here inherit underscore id all right then after we have to use the ref as the attribute in the ref we have to mention the specific form id so in the in our case like we have to go to in the school student module in the views dot xml xml file and we have to extend this one so first i have to copy this one or else first we need to copy this module name all right we have to paste here then after dot and then after we have to mention the xml id all right and now we have to add here the field tag field tag means this one the field name and the position so this one we need to mention like this so here in our case if you go to in the front end side you can see this id create on created by so this one like here like we have to also add two fields the first field is write that so like let's say after this create underscore uid field this one you can see in the form view i will show you here you can see this field this create underscore uid after this field we want to show like create sorry the write uid so in this case like after this field view after this field we want to display another field so we have to copy this field name we have to mention here and then we have to mention the position as after i already explained here you can see the position level after 
before inside replace and attributes here so now simple we have to add here the new field which is the write uid so it means like we extended this view this view means inside this school underscore student module we have like this id this xml id this xml id is this one and this xml id is the form view is this in this form view we extended using the field tag like i want to show this right uid field after this field the existing field you can see here this field should be exist in this field in this form view all right so like let's say this create underscore uid we mentioned here and the position is after because we need to display this field after this field all right so here like basically i will stop the service and if you see here i already configured my odoo service if using in the pycharm editor and i already use here minus u and the module name this one so once i will start the service it will automatically upgrade the module and once i will refresh the page you can see the new field also added as a last updated by so if you if i hover here you can see right uid it's already available here so using the field tag all right so whatever field you can see here using this field tag you can directly use that field as a field name as a tag name here then after the attribute as a name equal to an existing field name in this form view all right so like let's say let me raise one more error here to understand more all right before let's say write underscore uid so here like let's say write underscore dat by mistake i added this write underscore dat and this field this field is not available in this form view if you see here it started the form view here in the header part we didn't mention any field except the stat field here you can see student image right the name roll number school id id create date create uid and nothing right now i forcefully mention here the right underscore dat and this field is not available here in this form view and by chance i am trying to upgrade the module it will raise the error you can see it will raise like this all right and if you go to upper side now you can see this one from here to here like it says element this right underscore dat cannot be located in parent view parent view means this one this is the parent view this view so if you see here in this view we don't have any write underscore that so that's the reason it's write the error especially here all right but if you want to add this write that based on the any of this field position then we have to use like this like after the create like let's say before the create that i want to show like the write underscore that right underscore dat and here we have to mention the existing field name all right so now i'm trying to upgrade the module and it's working perfectly let me minimize the logger going to in front end side and trying to refresh the page now you can see we have now five fields id then after you can see write dat you can see the create dat you can see here the create uid 
and now you can see the right uid you can also see here in this group we have only three fields right id create date and create uid but after the inheritance of this existing view here we also added two more fields write date and write uid so total five fields available here all right these five fields now one more thing is that is not necessary like you can always add only one field here at a time so like let's say i'm comment this one i will copy this field and i will paste here that is also fine like after this field i will add more fields also here like this so this is a second test case like this is a first test case like if you want to add any specific id or uh, sorry specific field you can use like this then after you are like you have like more than one fields you want to display obviously you can do it like this all right so you can see the it will change the position also you can see the right uid and the right that is here after this create uid so this is a second case now the third case is let's say field name equal to id position like after or let's say before you can add anything here anything means any tag like h1 tag also you can add here like hello like this you can also add here one more group also inside the group you can add here like let's say the right uid like this then after you can also add here like right date here like this i'm trying to upgrade the module one more time i'm trying to refresh the page so you can see the hello in the h1 tag then after this is a new group which we already added and then after you can see the rest of the fields this is a first field second field third field and the fourth field all right so you can also change the behavior no it's not only always necessary like when you use this field tag you have to always mention the fields no like you can add anything here like this groups label you can see here like we already used right like this so in the sort like let's say you want to directly use the field tag and you are sure like the using the field tag i can achieve specific inheritance like you can extend the view easily that time you can use the field tag now what about the x path like x path is a complicated path we have to mention to extend the specific view let's say you want to extend the group right not the field like you can see here right now what we mention is the field name this one but you want to give us some specific path like let's say like this uh let's say like form then after like group then inside the group we have another group and after inside this group we have to mention a new form you new field or any other content we need to add at that time we can use the x path so i will explain this x path in our next session all right so this is about only the field tag i mean this one all right using this field tag you can extend also your existing view and forgot about this position in our next sessions you will see each and every topics what how to use after before inside replace and attributes with the real test cases and it's a combination of the field and the x path all right so this 
discussion is only focus about the field tag only especially in the inheritance concept so yeah in if you have any doubt related this field tag and specific this form view for specific this discussion please comment below and see you in next session